Okay guys, today we're going to review this Fulton trailer uh, folding kit to make your boat or whatever trailer you have fit in the garage if it's a tad bit too long. It's been a few months. It has. We're going to give her some love. <laughs> we took we took off for the winter because it was... It's cold. Is it that cold? It got down to 60s. It was like 40 degrees. I wasn't going to stay out here. <laughs> It only got down in the 40s sometimes. So y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll get into this. So when you open the box of this uh, trailer uh, folding hitch kit, you get instructions, good instructions, and it tells you for the three, I got the three by three, it tells you how much tongue you cut off and how much weight you can put on the tongue. This boat weighs nothing, so we're going to cut about 27, 30 inches, which would uh, take us down to a 400 pound tongue weight which the tongue weight on this boat I can lift with one hand so no problems there. It comes with your swivel hitches. Of course you want to put them on the right direction so it looks like that. It comes with a pin with a, a, a carter pin so you can latch it and your swivel boat bolt. And here it comes with all the bolts you need to put the hitch on. This is the non-weld kit. Um, the weld kit was about the same price. I didn't really want to bother with welding. So I just got the non-weld. And then it comes with all your nuts to do these bolts and your swivel bolts. So now let's cut off the trailer hitch. I'm going to be using this uh, Hitachi uh, wheel grinder. So it has a cutting bit you can attach to it. I'll leave a link down below to all this. Great tool to have and uh, 40 bucks plus your kit. 120 you're looking at total with this and that to convert your trailer into a folding hitch trailer. Okay, if you see here, I've already got a line all the way around it. I used the grinder to cut my line. And now I'm just going to finish cutting. It's going to be fun. And there it is. Of course, I have to finish cutting the bottom, but short enough to fit in the garage. Now let's stick it back on. Okay, you also get the uh, tool necessary for the uh, bolt top, or the, yeah, the bolt top, because it's not a actual socket, it's this star thing. And you get a punch. So they say, when doing this, you want to punch all your holes and then you want to, of course, drill with different size drill bits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch the hole. I'm going to drill this hole, hold it in place, and then I'm going to drill the rest of the hole so this isn't moving so I don't have holes that are out of place. So that makes a nice mark. Wow, babe. Danielle says that's too loud. This is a half inch dr drill bit. Okay. Our first 
O is done. And you put your drill. Yes. And you put one of these nuts on it. I'm also going to have mine fold this way because I have all my jack and stuff on this side. Okay, that one's not going to go anywhere, and we'll do it left of One bar left on my battery, so the other side should be easier because I can flip the mouth around, and it'll be awesome because I'll do everything from the top. Can't flip the whole trailer around. Okay, so this side's all drilled. I'm gonna get the bolts in these so we can then work on the rest. Make sure your wires are through here before you start bolting together or it'd be problematic. And also when you're cutting the trailer, set the tongue off, cut it straight off. They have these little mounts here that uh, go to where it's just straight. So even though it's angled, it's a straight cut. There we go. One side done. One side to go. I'm gonna take and uh, put my wires out of the way and I'll run them after it's mounted because this will all be open so I could easily run my wires through here. Let's go ahead and bring this up here and stick a pin in. There. Give us a platform to work from. Stick it in this way so it actually looks like what we're doing. And there we go. It's going to open that way, right against the side of the trailer. Okay. It's done. Now we can go. Let's go button. No, we should finish the rest of them. Watch out for the metal shirts. It's time to see the progress. There we go. Now it's a true garage boat. Just <laughs> pull it on out and put it back in and swing it over there. No, before it was a permanent garage boat. boat. <laughs> it wasn't moving. It wasn't moving. side bolted and yeah you can move it from either side and swivel either way you want this is going to be too far out for the garage swiveling off this joint will give you more room in your garage because you'll still have this piece sticking out whereas if you swivel the other way you don't high torque also great drill Milwaukee actually has metal gears in it I have yet to break the gears on one of these Milwaukee's. Just uh, the battery became not available on the last two I had. Okay, 
flip it over and drill the other side. Unless you like drilling from underneath, then go ahead, by all means, drill on top. Be sure to check out Diane with Danielle. Make some wonderful meals. My sister in law thinks I'm her personal tipper. <laughs> she calls me and says, Oh, Daddy, I want to make this. <laughs> Am I doing it right? But I guess that's the perks of being family. Huh? Oh, wow, wee, there's a lot of metal. There is a lot of metal. That would hurt if it got in my toes. I think this is all I got. <sighs> okay, the best way to get these little rubber bumpers in is on a drill. They seem to go in really nicely. And it's in. Bumpers are on. There we go. So now all that's left is the wiring and of course turning this hitch back over. So take this out. Put this up here like this. And there we go. Now you shove your wiring, of course, down your new hitch. Okay. So I have nothing in that size so as far as a wrench, so I'm going to use my crescent wrench and impact socket. But uh, there it goes. Let's do it on. Let's stick it on the right way. The side we want it to open. Ta da Okay, so now I'm going to finish up this wiring. Uh, I'll do another video on the wiring. Um, basically, I'm going to use uh, marine heat shrink wire uh, connectors because this is a boat trailer. And for any trailer, especially if you're outside a lot, you want to seal them connections because the wiring corrodes and then your lights fail. And, the cops don't like it. Okay guys, so got it installed. Didn't do the wiring, not yet. But uh, it's a uh, sundown or lemonade time. I'm hot. So on this, on this, I moved this back so I could have more room to cut off the tongue. I moved my jack back. I can probably move that forward now again. And I have this pin on this side so it just swivels around and you can just put your pin back in here so you don't lose it but not a bad uh, product for the price great space saving ideal for your garage if you have a boat or trailer you keep in there uh, just have to get the boat right now that's uh, more future videos so that's the deal if you're looking for great recipes, what fueled me up for this project, check out DineInWithDanielle.com. See link down below, lots of yummy goodness. I've also been doing some short one minute videos on some of her meals, so you can check them out. Really um, cool, they're actually making me want to go make it again because it looks so good. <laughs> it does, she really likes the video with the chop, chop, chop. It really sticks in your head. Yeah, I couldn't get out of my head. I'm sorry if you listen to it and you can't get out of your head, but, you know. Oh, that's, that's the uh, 
oven fried chicken, which is yummy. <laughs> oh my gosh, with whole wheat, it is so good. good. So good. And uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. And uh, be sure to hit the bell so you get reminded when uh, new videos come along, right. if you like us that much. And uh, if you have feedback, you, uh, you have better ideas, or you like the product, or I'm doing it all wrong, leave that down below. And y'all please take care.